Um, I think we're going to start now. Um, so, hello, everybody. My name is Nikhil Satyanathan, and I'll be moderating this session. Your presenters for today um, are Simi Kama and Anaya Kotak. We are very excited to bring you what's in a qualifier from Husky Robotics, with what outlines the um, the structure of the 2020 FLL competition. Before we begin, I want to introduce myself and my co-hosts. Um, my name is uh, my name is Nikhil Zatinathan. I am a junior at Naperville North High School. Um, Simi is a sophomore at Naperville Central High School, and Anaya is a junior at Naperville North High School as well. Really quickly, I'm going to go over how this presentation will continue. Um, for right now, you are all muted, but as the meeting goes on and you think of questions, please select the hand raise function located in the chat button. Um, once I've called on you, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. We strongly encourage all of you to ask a question in the chat by typing, if that is more convenient for you. Um, this is just a, a great way for us to keep track of all the questions coming in and who asks the question first. Please use the chat and um, reaction features appropriately uh, when typing in the chat or using um, symbols or, or reactions on the bottom bar. I would also uh, like to let you all know that these presentations are being recorded. Now that we got that out of the way, I will let Anaya and Simi introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Simi Kama, and I've been doing robotics for four years. I was in FLL from sixth to eighth grade, and I've been in FRC Husky Robotics for one year. Hi, my name is Anaya Kotak. I'm a junior at Naperville North, and I've been a part of FIRST Robotics for six years, four years in FLL, and two years with Husky Robotics. So like Nikhil said, today we'll be talking about what a qualifier will look like this year. Teams will not have a traditional qualifier this season. Instead, teams will submit recordings of their robot game rounds and judging presentations in the weeks leading up to their scheduled remote closing ceremony. Teams will be mailed at participation pins and any awards they win during the season. So when registering for a remote closing ceremony, which is a, traditionally known as a qualifier, teams will be assigned one of their top two choices. They're gonna be choosing at least two during registration for the remote closing ceremony date by November 15th after their team's payment has been received. All remote closing ceremonies will take place during the last two weekends of January and February 2021, but the number of events available is very dependent on team enrollment numbers. And once assigned to a remote closing ceremony, teams will be contacted by their event coordinator and provided place cards to use at the start of their team's videos for submission. Because of the COVID-19 situation this season, teams will not be doing any in-person interaction with judges or referees. Instead, teams will compete by submitting video recordings of a brief team introduction, a project presentation, a robot design presentation, and robot performance runs. There is no core values presentation or video submission at all. Teams are expected to incorporate core values in their projects and robot presentations. So robot runs are slightly different this year due to COVID-19. Teams can submit up to four robot run videos according to the schedule, similarly to how teams would do four robot runs in person. The first submissions will be due in December and teams must follow all submission rules specified by First Illinois Robotics. And teams will receive feedback from referees after each submission and this feedback is criticism or helpful tips or just comments in general. And teams are only required to submit the fourth and final video, but it is recommended that teams submit more than one because they can receive constant feedback that can be helpful during the season. And the Robot Performance Award will go to the highest score with tiebreakers going to the high score with the fastest completion time. To go more into robot game video submission specifics, once teams have on their remote closing ceremonies, they will be contacted virtually and be given official place cards. Teams will be given one play card each. These play cards will be displayed at the beginning of each video submission a team will make. They can be printed or screenshotted to show at the start of the video. If printed, black and white ink is absolutely fine. 
Following each video submission, the team's assigned referees will provide feedback to help teams develop over the season. Teams will finally first work with their referee on their first robot round video due approximately in the first week of December. Video submissions will be uploaded onto YouTube and teams will provide a link for the video to their assigned judges and referees. Based on their event date and time, teams will be assigned two to three judges and two referees who provide helpful feedback after each video submission. Public and private YouTube team channels are both accepted. Student faces are allowed to appear in submitted videos and a timer is not required at all, as a time check will already be done by the length of the video that the team uploads. Teams are also not required to have a neutral third party present for any recording. These videos cannot have any editing done to any extent. It must be a continuous recording. Teams that have been, con teams that have been selected for state championships will be given the opportunity to submit new videos for review and be assigned two new referees for the state level play. And the round dates for all of the first through third rounds are the same for each remote closing ceremony. However, for the fourth rounds, the date varies by the remote closing ceremony. So if you guys want to take a screenshot or a picture of these dates, feel free to do so, and they should be up on firstillinoisrobotics.org as well. Early, yeah. oh, sorry, you, can go. you go ahead, Simi. In early January or February, teams will submit recorded judging presentation videos for robot design, innovation projects, and a brief one introducing their team to the judges. We will do our best to provide assistance to any teams that are in need of help in being able to record or post their videos. These videos can be edited without any consequences. The, videos, the judges will review videos and engage in Q&A with teams in one of two methods. Teams can choose whether to participate in a qualifier that has live streaming Q&A with judges or a recorded Q&A with judges. Some important things to remember are that teams will have a choice as to whether to participate in an event with live Q&A or recorded Q&A. When you register your, your team this season, please keep in mind that your final video submission due date will predate your closing ceremony by up to three weeks. So some specifics about the live Q&A alternative is that teams will have a scheduled streaming meeting with judges during which judges will ask teams questions about their presentations in a live format. And the date and general time period of the live Q&A will be known once teams sign up to participate in a qualifier. And these details will be communicated by the event coordinator. So some things about live Q&A are that technical challenges may be present, but it offers a more robust communication between the team and the judges. If, te if technical difficulties occur, an effort will be made to reschedule. However, if rescheduling is not successful, judges will have to complete the rubrics based on the original video submissions. And these are some of the live Q&A dates for the remote closing ceremonies. Once again, if you would like to take a screenshot or a picture of these dates to remember them, you can do so. Otherwise, they are available on firstillinoisrobotics.org. Recording Q&A will involve teams receiving follow-up questions about the team's recorded presentations from the judges. Teams will then have a period of time to post a video of their responses, which the judges will use to finish, <laughs> finish the scoring team. The back and forth communication is not as robust as live Q&A, but is a good alternative for teams who may be uncertain if they can connect and participate in a live remote Q&A on a particular day and time. If a team has difficulty recording or posting their video, efforts will be made to assist them. But if the responses are not posted, they will complete the rubrics for the team based solely on their original video submission. And these are the recorded Q&A dates. If you want, you can take a picture of these as well. So some important dates to remember are that by October 31st, all teams must be registered 
nationally and through Illinois. By November 15th, you will be assigned their remote closing ceremony date and time, depending on their selections made during registration. By January 1st, the deadline is the deadline by which teams members screen a between 2 and 10 students aged 9 through 14. By either January 23rd or 24th, January 30th or 31st, February 20th or 21st, and February 27th or 28th, those are the tentative remote closing ceremony, also known as qualifier dates. And tentatively, the state championship will take place on April 24th as of now. So just to go over some team registration information, like seasons past, teams are registered through www.firstillinoisrobotics.org, where you can click coach login at the top of the page. Veteran coaches will use their previous login credentials. New coaches will set up a new login and password. Unlike seasons past, this year, Illinois registration will open by September 15th. Teams must be registered nationally before they can register in Illinois. We recognize that many teams may have more challenges with finances this season and are lowering our registration fees only for the 2020-2021 replay season. We are reducing fees to $100 a team for qualifiers and $50 a team for state championship play. Teams will be able to select their top two preferred qualifier closing ceremony dates and times. A choice between live judging Q&A and recorded judging Q&A will be offered to all teams. Please look closely at the event description to tell which type you are signing up for. Once you choose your event, the payment portal will be available in the Financials tab. Payments must be received in order to place in an event. So what teams must have to participate in this season is two first screen adult coaches and between two and 10 students of ages 9 through 14 as of January 1st, 2020. And the screening of adult coaches, as well as checking if training and consent is up to date, is done through the login portal at firstinspires.org. And consent forms must be collected for all participants, both students and adults, electronically. And paper forms can be uploaded at consent.firstillinoisrobotics.org. And coaches must periodically complete the youth protection training. Without any of these three things, teams may not be able to participate in this season. Are there any questions? No. And I noticed a couple of teams came in late. We will be recording this presentation, so we will be sending all the recordings out to all participants afterwards. If you have any questions, feel free to either unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat as well. Uh, quick question. Uh, how many people do you want to have in the group? Uh, so in each FLL group, there is about two to 10 kids and you can have as many coaches as needed. Okay, so two to 10 people in a group, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions? Hey, we are new to uh, this program. So do you guys provide any design specifications or how does it even work? We are not sure actually. So are you talking about design specifications of like the robot, like how to build the robot and all that stuff? Yeah. So, Simi, do you want to talk about what they can look at? Yeah, so it's definitely on the website, but there are other sessions going on today that we'll be discussing some specifications for how you'll be judged. Also, the robot game video is going to be coming out next week by um, the head of the state. So, you can check that out to see what kind of things you're supposed to be looking for. There are um, other sessions today if you want to know more about that. Okay, and actually my daughter is interested, but we are not sure, uh, I mean, 
her team mentor or anything so can, if she wants can she join in other teams or do we have to come up with our own team um there are definitely other teams out there um that you can research or look at social media and see if any teams are recruiting or just reach out to them there are many many fll teams out there um and i know husky robotics also has is in contact with a lot of fll teams so if you contact us uh, i'll send an email in our chat and we can try to find someone for you as well okay yeah that would be great thanks mm -hmm. we have a question from the chat um from alan who asks will there be um other events other than the qualifier and state championship um like the nationals worlds etc Uh, most likely there will be. However, the dates haven't been set um, because they're not thinking out that far yet. We're first trying to organize the remote closing ceremony and the state championship, but most likely, yes, there will be a national and world's tournament. Uh, at Sun Google. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, thank you all for attending um, this session. Um, please stay tuned for the other sessions today um, as per the schedule that you all received. Um, we hope you have a great day. And if you, if you do have any more questions after this event that you wanna ask, feel free to use uh, the email that Anaya copied and paste it into um the chat um please use that email to email any further questions you might have thank you everyone thank, thank you. you so much